Hi everyone, so I want to welcome you back to another video. This is actually a tutorial that I've been really, really excited about doing ever since I saw Rihanna at the CFDA. Her makeup just stole my heart and I was going through my collection like how am I going to do this tutorial because you know this is on point. You have to do this. It's one of those things where you look and you're like, I got this. So I had to do my rendition of it. I have my little headscarf on. My hair is a mess in the back but I thought I'd just, you know, cover it up since she kind of had one even though hers was like actually something wearable but I have mine on too just because it is like 8 something in the morning. I have been up all night not being able to sleep so I finally just said, you know what? I'm gonna play in my makeup and so this is what came out of it so I hope you guys enjoy I didn't get to use everything that she used I did read some stuff that her makeup artist's name was Myla Morales and that some of the products that she used on her eyes like she did use actually her Rihanna holiday palette the smoked cocoa quad so she did use that in her look which I was actually surprised to hear about so that's something that I did read I also read that she used a MAC lipstick called Mayor M-E-H-R, which I looked up and I couldn't find, so that may be like a limited edition or something from the past. But it was kind of a, a nude, a pinky, more on the nude side with a lip liner, definitely visible. So that's what I tried to create is definitely the lip liner being a little bit more visible. And she did use spice pencil. So out of everything, I used the spice pencil. So I, I got that part on point. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I had so so much fun creating it. It was just a blast. This is my first time actually just going in and creating a look from a celebrity. I've seen a lot of tutorials and they seem to be more like on the silvery side and what I noticed is that her look seemed to be of that charcoal black like that deep gray with some shine to it. Not on the silver side which makes it a little bit lighter but definitely on that charcoal side. I tried to bring that out as much as possible with the products that I had of course again you have to remember use the products that you have don't think that just for one look you gotta go oh my god I gotta go buy this and I gotta go buy that just for this one look use the products you have and do the best that you can and I guarantee you'll be happy with it we all have to learn how to improvise so that's what I did and that's what you guys should do too remember you don't need to use every product that I use just please use whatever you have and I, I promise you'll be just as satisfied it'll come out just as good if not better so enough of me rambling I want to also mentioned this is gonna be my first voiceover video so that should be interesting we'll see how that goes I wanted to see if the voiceover would be quicker for me because I know my videos have been kind of long and I'm working on shortening them up and making them a little bit more time friendly but if you like the talk through video more let me know and I'll do a talk through video they're just gonna be longer anyway I hope you enjoyed the tutorial it's on this look on my face and I'm gonna take this off and go to bed otherwise I hope you enjoy stay tuned super super easy talk to you later bye oh wait I forgot and if you happen to enjoy have any questions or comments you know what to do leave those down in the comment area everything that I use will be listed in the description bar along with my other social media so you can follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I think that's about it I'm starting to repeat myself because I'm on no sleep for like two days and I'm just like crazy but other than that on to the tutorial and talk to you guys next time see you later have a good day Enjoy your day. I'm taking a nap, going to bed, and bye! Hey everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna fast forward through the brows using the Anastasia Brow Powder in Dark Brown and then also the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Then I'm gonna pick up my Makeup Geek Matte Palette that I did go in and create and start off with the Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC 224 brush and I'm going to be picking that up and applying that in the crease as my transition color. That's going to go all over from inside to outside. I'm just going to blend that with windshield wiper motions and eventually you will see me using, um, what do you call it, like circular motions. Sorry about that. So that's just going to go in and out. So therefore, when I do start applying my dark colors, it helps to really blend those and not have harsh lines. Next, as you see, I'm going to take the color Cocoa Bear, which was that reddish brown, and I'm going to put that in the transition 
area again, which is my crease, but I'm going to put it a little bit lower so it gives it a gradient effect from the Cocoa Bear into the peach smoothie. So I'm just going to get that all applied and I'm going to build that up until the intensity that I want it to be. Again, using windshield wiper motions to blend that out. Next, I'm going to be using my MAC 252 brush and I'm going to be picking up a Makeup Forever and number two and I'm spreading this all over the first two thirds of the eye. It is a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. So they are waterproof but it's a really really great base to put down underneath their shadows because once that base is on it does not budge. So I'm putting this up and not going any higher than the crease. And like I said, I'm doing this on the two thirds. Now I'm taking a little bit darker of a color and that is in zero one. And I'm going to take that on the outer third of the eye, blending that in to the zero two color from Makeup Forever and just covering the rest of the eye for, again, another shadow base that's a little bit deeper on the outside. Again, not going any higher than the crease. Just slowly getting that on the outside of the lid, creating a little bit of a V, but, you know, not anything too harsh and not really extending it too far past the outer part of the eye. Next, I'm picking up a MAC color, and it's a MAC Metal X in Golden Carbon, as you can see. This is from an older collection. And I'm using my MAC 239 brush. It's kind of this charcoal, gray, taupey, dark color. It's really, really nice. I'm putting that on that inner two thirds the way I did for the Makeup Forever color in the 02. And just getting that on there just to intensify it. Next, you see, I'm going to take my 217 brush. And I'm taking the Makeup Geek Shadow in Corrupt, which is one of the blackest shadows on the market, I swear. It's probably got to be one of my favorite black shadows of all time. So I'm putting that in the outer V, going over where I put that Makeup Forever 01. Blending that out, first applying the color with the 217, and now I'm taking that 224 and blending out any harsh edges that may have been created. So just going over that making sure everything is smooth, that there's no harsh edges, and that is the biggest key of this look. Blend, blend, blend. After everything you do, you just want to blend. I'm also going to go back in and picking up a little bit of uh, some more of the Makeup Geek in Cocoa Bear, and I'm doing circular motions to blend it out, really get that in there and really work on making sure that those hard lines that may have been there are as diminished as possible. So really working on blending that out from inner to corner eye. Next, I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio Powder using Incandescent Light, which is the color in the middle as you see. I'm putting that right underneath my brow bone and I'm not using a shimmery color because there is so much shimmer on the lid already. I'd rather have something that is light that's going to highlight my brow bone, but is going to give it more of a glow. So that is why I'm using that incandescent light from, again, Hourglass in the Trio palette. They came out for the holiday, but they did actually end up bringing it out as a permanent, so you can still go ahead and buy that. Now I'm actually using a Christian Dior, and it's from the Dior Show Free Fusion Mono, and the color that I have is a sample color, so unfortunately I don't know which color that is. Um, I really like these. It's kind of like a cream to powder, but it's so not a cream. It, it almost crumbles if you if you pick it up, so it's definitely not a cream. I'm using this on the inner tear duct to really brighten that up, and now I'm going in with my MAC Press Pigment and Jet Couture. Gorgeous color. I think it came out around the holiday. Again, it's a pressed pigment. Best applied with fingers, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm using my free tool and applying it with my finger, and I'm putting that right in the middle of the lid, 
kind of towards the inner two thirds, but I'm mainly working on a third of my lid that's right in the middle of the lid. Pressing that in there and really adding that extra shine and pop, and it'll really just, just add a little bit more dimension with all those extra colors. And since Chip Couture had so many colors in it, I'm also taking, as you saw, I took the 217 and really blended it in, added a little bit more black and blended in that Jet Couture. And now I'm going back in with the Christian Dior and just retouching up the inner corner. Now I am going in with my NARS uh, Via Veneto liner. I know I can't say that right. And I am tight lining the upper eyelid the water line where my lashes are I want to make sure that my lashes are as dark as possible so this is a great liner this is a sample one that I got in a kit now I'm going to go in and take my Inglot gel liner in number 77 again I don't know what black gel liner was until I got this Inglot one it's a little bit wetter than what I'm used to I'm used to using the MAC formula but this is such a better formulation. I'm sorry, that was my phone. Um, it's a little bit wetter, but when it dries, it dries so matte and it dries so black. And compared to the MAC one, the MAC looks great. Now, I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to go ahead and get this top line uh, lined. I'm not going to add a wing or anything fancy. I just want a nice black solid line on my top lid. Don't forget, as you saw, if you really like this, please like, subscribe, and comment below. I'd love to hear from you, answer any of your questions. So I'm just taking my time making sure that line is built the way I want it. And again, not doing anything special, no cat wing or anything like that. This liner is only $12. I got a whole bunch of colors. You need to pick some of these up. Next, I'm taking a wet wipe. I'm just cleaning out any fallout that may have happened underneath the eyes, making a crisp line on the side, going back in with my 217 brush, making sure that the black that I did add on the outside is blended. Now, for time purposes, I applied most of my foundation routine off camera. If you would like an in-depth video regarding that, please comment below. All the products that I use are going to be listed below on that. So, here, yes, I look crazy. I look like I was farted on by powder. But I'm going to take that Via Veneto pencil again from NARS and line my inner waterline again, making that completely black, again, looking like I have more lashes. But it is also going to help for when I start to blend out on the lower lash line to give it that smoky look because Rihanna definitely had that smoky look. Now, as you can see, I'm using a MAC product from the Luring Aquatic Collection. So that was an extra dimension shadow and soul serenade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that on a very small MAC brush. The MAC brush, let's see, I think it is my 228 brush. And I'm just putting that on the bottom, kind of taking where I over over applied the black liner just a little bit to fall on my lashes from the waterline and I'm blending that out and smudging that out with that MAC Extra Dimension Shadow and Soul Serenade and you can see that I am doing that on the other eye as well. I did this after the fact of putting my face makeup on and my concealer and everything because I didn't want it to be a harsh line. I want it to look smudged out and I didn't want there to be any harsh lines if I would have done my concealer afterward. I'm now taking a 217 brush and going underneath that, and with any leftover product from the black shadow from Makeup Geek, I'm smudging that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Studio Sculpt Lash Mascara, and I'm going to apply that to my top lashes. This is a great mascara for everyday use, for combing out your lashes, for getting some mascara and prepping them before you put on false lashes. That's why I like that. This mascara does work for me on the daily, although most people probably wouldn't give them the full look that they want. But it is a nice, simple mascara. Doesn't clump. Has a great wand on it to really comb out the lashes, make them individual without clumping. Now, 
I did go ahead and apply my lashes. I did that off camera, and I used the Ardell, no, I used the MAC False Lashes in number 43. It's catching up. Now I'm onto my lips. I'm using a Spice Lip Pencil, and I'm applying that all over my lips, and now I'm using Myth. Myth was a little bit too light for me, so I do have to blend this in and work it into that lip liner to get kind of an ombre effect. Rihanna's lip liner was visible, so I made sure not to blend it to where you couldn't see the lip liner. Next, I am taking the Whitening Lightning Gloss in Nude and placing that all over the lip to blend that. So that is the final look of the lips. This is just a slow motion shot showing you the lips into the eyes and getting you a full idea of what the final look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you happen to have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. I'd love to hear from you, answer any questions. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love for you to stick around. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later.